Hello guys, welcome to Solving Solutions, your number one channel where you get solutions to all your solving problems. So today we are going to look at a few things on um, two um, GIS softwares, um, ArcGIS and um, um, QGIS. Um, without spending much time, let's just delve into the business of the day. So today we are going to see how you open um, an ArcGIS um, Judita base on QGIS. I don't know if you've, had a, if you've had any challenge or maybe if you've had any time when you had to work with them. Um, a file or maybe a job that was saved on ArcGIS and then you want to access it on QGIS. So um, this is what we are going to consider on the video today. So I would want you to just join us and let's see how it goes. So the first thing is that you can all see the, um, the would I say, the information we want to open on, uh, what do you call it, on QGIS. It's actually on ArcGIS now. And then we want to open it on QGIS. So this is actually the administrative map of my state. Yes, I'm from River State in Nigeria. And then this is actually the administrative map of my state. So these are the layers in the in the map. So the next thing we want to do is I want to assess this file on what on QGIS. So the first thing is that you know most of these things when you want to work on them, edges, you create a folder and then you put everything you're working on. You save everything you're working on, on that folder so it's not really something difficult where maybe someone will ask me where did i get the folder because we are going to open the folder very soon so that's how most times you work on what you work on actually so now let's open our what our QGIS. i've actually launched the, the software so the next thing we are going to do is that we are going to come to what we are going to come to layer and then we we'll do what we add layer we we'll do what we add layer then from layer you see what add vector layer so by the time you select that, it will take you to this um, pop-up window where they say data source manager. Now, on a normal day, when you're working with um, a QGIS file, you don't need to come to directory. But when you want to open that ArcGIS file, which you want to do now from QGIS, that's when you come to what? You come to directory. Else, you come to file and then you select whatever um, vector data sets you want to access on your QGIS. So now you come to directory because we are trying to open what an ArcGIS file on QGIS, and then you come to directory. Then you now say um, the type. The type is um, UK um, NF2 NTF2 rather. Then you come to the vector data set. You click on this um, three dots here to browse the directory or let's say the folder where it has been saved. So I've actually saved it on this particular. River State Administrative Vault map. So that's the folder. So you just access whatever folder you've saved it on, then you just open it. So by the time you select the folder after that, you do what? You add. You add. So when you want to add, there will be another pop up window what? asking you which of the vector layers you want to add. If you want to add all, you can add all layers to group. Then, or you can select all. Or if you want to add just a few of them, you can just select each of maybe those ones you want to add. So for the purpose of this video, we are going to select settlements and the state boundary. So you click on settlements, you tap on the control bar so that uh, you can multiple select or you can select multiple uh, layer. So that state boundary, you, tap, you hold your control bar, then you click on the settlement. So we are going to consider ourselves with the settlements and the state boundary. Or should we also look at the um, let's say the river state and local government area so we also click on that so we have selected three layers right good so we just say what okay by the time we say okay definitely it will want to confirm the transformation and the rest of that and we are not going to consider much of this today because that's not the scope of what we want to discuss so an okay will suffice okay will suffice then what you later find out that it has been added so you just what you close this window by the time you close this window you find out that all those three layers we selected have been what have been added to our what our qgis layer power or whatever it is so we can now open that file that was saved on arcgis on what on qgis yes i know you found solution to this stuff and uh, maybe you are not conversant with them with rgs and you want to work with qgs or maybe you are conversant with both of them but you just want to work with qgs so this is one way or is a way you can do what you can assess the file on rgs on what on qgs so yeah thanks for coming to class i hope you found solution to one of your geometric problems so um if you actually love the video which i know you do 
just um, like the video share with your friends and if you're a new viewer please um, subscribe to the channel and thanks for coming back if you are if you're an old subscriber make sure that you keep checking on us and then keep sharing our videos until we see you on the next video make sure you stay safe and be good bye